Oh, shoot. This relationship is going somewhere. That's what that tells me. Making the sacrifice. What are we making the sacrifice of, Scorpio? What are we having to let go of this time around? What are we going to have to release? Let me go ahead and read the affirmation. This reading is not going to take very long to get through because it's very clear what's going down. Because, yeah, y'all just making sacrifices for the greater good for yourself. And that's good. You know, doing what you want to do. All right. Let's make the sacrifice. You will not achieve the outcome you desire if you are unwilling to act upon your intentions. It is not as simple as wanting something to happen or believing that it will happen. You have to make it happen. And to make it happen, like we saw the tower, and okay, like, and to make it happen uh, requires that you be willing and ready to do whatever is necessary, to, uh, no matter the sacrifice. Everything happens, sorry, for everything you desire, you must give of yourself in return. Family! So we already seen the Five of Swords come up in there, right? That, like I said before, what agenda is worth keeping? What intentions are you worth, is worth keeping and worth letting go of? And that's part of that sacrifice. You're going to have to let go of something uh, and, you know, and the stubbornness has got to go with it. Right? The animacy of having it one way or the highway, it has to go with it. And I think that that may not be you. Some of you guys may be dealing with somebody else that's like that. And I feel like that somebody is trying to get everything that they want, but at the same time, they have to make certain sacrifices in order for them to get to that thing. Which has a lot to do with the reason why they may, there may be doubts, whether or not this is something they really, really want to do or not. So, the mentality here for the both sides um, we're going to get started with, this is typically the side I, I work with here for my clients on, well, and I, I do offer this reading here on instant go. So if you want one of your own, go ahead and go click the description box below there. But this is typically you Scorpio that I read and the other person's this side here, but it's up to you. You, um, cause this is a general reading, you know, this is a reading for everybody and you know, this is for, for as many eyes that can see. And if this side don't resonate with you, happily go over here, right? It's totally up, up to you. But typically during a traditional read, I wouldn't, I would just stick to you with this side as the client, okay? But the, uh, the mentality going into this relationship with either you or the other person, Scorpio, is the king of pentacles. So you're already very committed to this relationship. Determined, committed, hardcore, like souls, all right? You know your worth, you know your value, you know exactly what this relationship means to you. You have a very strong will when it comes to this relationship, a strong intention for this relationship. And I feel like you guys see yourselves as the provider for this relationship as well, as someone that's a, the rock, someone that's stable, um, someone that is um, definitely ready to settle down. You know what I mean? Some of you guys may have your own families already, or maybe have kids, or maybe you're starting to have kids. Maybe this, this is you guys in the, you're in the process of you know being a family man, a family woman, you know, or family whoever okay uh but pa king of pentacles is talking about literally going into this situation with your in in mentality in being focused on the stability the values family values you know value in yourself value in you know it's very focused on the practical yes but i think you know that is partially what maybe you know you may be releasing but also understanding and knowing your confidence understanding your independence this other person is very similar to you because it's got the nine of pentacles here perfectly confident in themselves but they may be stuck in a little comfort zone here you know enthralled with their you know with being safe some of this you know this person may be feeling like they're kind of in, maybe feeling single in a relationship you know they may be feeling single here uh, because the underlying energy is with the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is all about love, all about feelings, all about those emotions, right? He knows how he feels. He knows um, what to do with them. He knows what to do with them. He knows the importance of having them. He understands the importance of releasing them as well. It's all about an ebb and flow. And as a matter of fact, King of Cups is you, Scorpio. So you are the focus of this relationship as well as the commitment, what you're focusing on, what your hardcore beliefs are, what do you feel and you know deeply or emotionally tied to. Some of you guys, this is like you guys um, really feeling those that, that emotion, right? Really, very much attached. Not attached to people, but you're just deeply enthralled in your emotions with this relationship, right? You're, there's some deep hidden emotions. Not hidden, not hidden, but you feel some deepness in this relationship, right? Like your Scorpio energy has definitely taken charge in this relationship. The mentality going into this does, it has a lot to do with being the provider, being the person that's stable, you know, wanting to stabilize the relationship for the other person, right? Because you're not just looking for out for yourself with the King of Pentacles, you're also looking to be generous. So you have things to give, you have love to give. And it's because your cup is full of love, which is excellent, right? Um, but the, the, um, for the cup's full of your own love. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm, I'm sneezing. 
But the other person here it may be kind of thick within a comfort zone, um, a kind of a look, kind of afraid, not necessarily afraid to get out of it, um, but they're just kind of sitting there. You know, not you know, they're confident in themselves. They're very aware of their value as well. They um, they know their accomplishments and you know what they're capable of doing. But the thing is, is that they're still in the comfort zone. Now, what's interesting is that they show the King of Wands. They're obviously showing that they know that they're confident. They feel really good in themselves. They feel very proud of themselves as well. This person is also very active and very um energetic. They have this go 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 mentality, and I like that. It's really good. The King of Wands uh, can also indicate this person is very attractive and very alluring in their energies. Um, they're very, um, they're very good at what they do with their emotions. The King of Cups is like, like I said, the King of Cups, you know, he knows what to do with them, and the King of Wands knows how to use them. Okay, it's different. So. I think this person is definitely letting their emotions be their their influence, right? They're very passionate individuals, and they do what they want to do. And they're very proud of themselves. They're very proud of that, and they're also they have a very stubborn streak as well. Could be a, a could be a Leo here or an Aquarius. Um, but they don't have to be. It could be Aries or, or Sagittarius or even Gemini, or Libra. Um, or even Taurus for Capricorn. But the whole thing is, is like this is about the relationship and everybody's feeling very, you know, confident in themselves, feeling very, you know, comfortable. But for you, Scorpio, you have death, which is your energy. You're definitely showing your energy here. Very cleansing, very open, and very open to new life. You're not just releasing just the old, but you're also bringing in new. Like you're open to the uh, the possibility of new life. You're very open to that. And I feel like you're also changing routines. You're changing things about, you know, not just changing things about yourself, but you're releasing the old so you can have a new. So this, which is makes sense where you're making all these sacrifices, right? Where the sac make the sacrifices is coming up, releasing of the old, making space. And I think a lot of you guys are, you know, you're trying to make space. Some of you guys, you know, the King of Pentacles is very stuck. Very can be very stuck energy. Obviously, it's fixed. And the King King of Cups, all this energy is fixed energy. And I feel like some you guys are both very, very, very strong-willed and very, very stubborn. Very stubborn. And the fact of the matter is, it's like I think there are some things that you guys are just not going to buckle with. I think there's some things that you guys work immensely great with, and you know it. But there's also some things that it's hard to break free from and or adjust because of the past because look at what brought you two together for a second we have the three of pentacles you guys came together because you guys worked well together you know you've seen a future together you've seen that there's could be potential great potential in the relationship between you and this individual but the thing that's keeping you from moving forward is the past is either the fact that you guys have been together before and that didn't work out or the fact that there is this this past relationship um, that's, you know, that's, that's something that from the past that still lingers on. Now, the potential for this, now, this is the thing, the past could be the situation, right? The fact that there was one thing that, you know, there was something that, you know, was very passionate to you, very close to you, very, um, pre precious to you, in the, you know, a relationship in the past, anyway. Um, or this is something that reminds you of a time when you were happy. And it's trying, you're trying to get there the ways that you know, the ways that, that are old, the ways that are probably don't work no more. Because this is someone else that's coming in that has very strong values, that has a very, they're not willing to buckle, like they're not willing to, you know, flex, not willing to expand. And you may have to be the person to make the sacrifices only because this person's so adamant about going their own way. Because they have the key, the, the Nine of Pentacles, they're in their own world, they're in their own fortress, they have their own belief systems, right? Now, like, like I said, but you're releasing stuff. You're making room. This person's already got very strong beliefs. This is so strong, strong, like, moral values. They're very, very adamant about having something. They're very stubborn in their own right. But in order for this to work, both parties cannot be stubborn. I mean, they can be, but we'll see how long they last. Because if there's no one to, to give uh, the relationship, give them themselves, then there's nothing going on. And I do feel like you feel drawn to this individual. The King of Cups is coming up in this reading. But the thing is, is that there's a lot of stuff that you're keeping up too. But this is old issues as well. Like old, not old issues. There's old stuff that's still keeping you from being able to embrace the new. Because death can indicate that there is, you know, there's progress. There's leaving, you know, releasing of the old. Some of you guys are definitely doing that. You guys are definitely leaving the old behind. You're working on, you know, making that transition, allowing space for to, to come in. A lot of you guys aren't. But then some of you guys, for what I'm reading this reading as, and what the energy I'm feeling for this, some of you guys in this, and not all of you, please understand, some of you, 
are still holding on to the past. You're still holding on to it and you're being very stubborn with it. And that's the same reason. I know it's very similar. The, the, think about it. Every soulmate, practically most soulmates are mirrors. So the fact that this person is very stubborn and not truly willing to come out of their comfort zone, same difference. Same way. And even though you're trying to get to a new outcome, a different, you know, to a new beginning in love and start to heal yourself and start to, you know, build on spiritual growth for yourself, you got to let go of this past stuff too. You got to let go of the reason why you're not willing to budge because you got commitments and routines and things that, yes, you are aware that work, but it may not be what's going to get you to where you want to be, right? Which is seeing what this future really has to offer between the both of you by making it happen. You know what I mean? Now, we saw that tower earlier, and there's the things that are going to have to radically change. And that th thing that has to radically change is yourself. You can't make this person change. This person is not going to even allow that change to happen. But you have to change yourself in order for them to consider it and think about it like that. And it's not to manipulate them. It's about changing yourself so that you could be free. And if they don't want to you know, buckle up, you know, if they don't want to open up and, you know, accept different ideas, that's on them. Because that may not be, your, you know, because then, you know the right person will come to you if they're not willing to be open but the situation here is that you cannot control them and you're you know you staying buckled up and tight because of some old stuff that honestly is not going to serve you anyway that old stuff that's not serving you now because think about the six of cups here this is not a car this is as good memories it's to help you remember that there is potential for happiness of course but the past at the same time is always going to hold you back especially if there's no reason to hold on to those things that have certain boundaries too like if there's certain boundaries that are keeping you from having happiness that is keeping space you know, that's the part where making sacrifice comes in. And of course, you want this new love. You want to start over. You want to heal. But you got to let go of the past disappointments, the past, you know, shame, the everything that has come from this past energy, from this past relationship. Sorry, y'all. Something went down on my phone. But anyway, if I get the um, tripod. Anyway, but yeah, the past is what's going to be holding y'all back. The past is what's going to be, you know, it's going to get in the way. And like I said, soulmates are mirrors. This person's doing this too because of their past relationship. Isn't it? You're not just the exception. They're both, you guys are both doing it. This is the right, this is a big mirroring concept. But in order for this to change, you have to be the person that changes. You have to be the person that least releases the old. You have to be the person that seeks new, right? That's the best you could do. You can never change anybody. You can't force anybody to do anything differently. So it's time to let go of the old way of thinking the old way of being because of something that happened in your past relationship and embrace potential newness potential happiness here it's giving yourself self-love as well basically the king of cups loves himself more than anything. he loves everyone very much deep very deeply but he loves himself the most because he understands him he is a vessel for the for those energies to for those emotions that he experiences and in order for them to be for him to f experience them fully he has to experience them without judgment without condition now the other person here with the king of swords like you know practically what i said this person's very very you know clear on their truth very absolute very sure of themselves they're aware of their in, of their individuality they're very aware of their truths they're aware of of you know their independence of their strengths they're very strong-willed individuals over here they're very similar to you you can be very strong-willed yourself and i think you are that's why this is kind of like a okay this is a dynamic that's pretty damn powerful but at any moment there could be like Pity arguments because you guys are just both trying to win, which is why we saw that five of one, five of swords earlier. Remember, so that makes sense why we saw that five of swords. But is it worth having all those arguments just to win, or you know, why are we having arguments at all, trying to one up each other? You're both very powerful. There's no, just don't you know, don't get intimidated by that. Neither one of y'all, anyway. But they both, but this person is intelligent. But this person is coming from a place of also protection. They're trying to protect themselves. The King of Swords, I always see them. And they're always trying to protect the softest part of them, which is their emotions, which is uh, understandably the underlying energy, the King of Cups. The King of Swords always has a King of Cups in them. And the King of Cups always has a small little King of Swords in him, too. They all have a little bit of, a little piece of them. But what they specialize in is what their suit is, right? Which is the, you know, the Swords, truth, communication, ideas, perspective um knowledge logic they are definitely strong in those areas with this person but they're also very extremely protective they they will say no in a heartbeat 
And it's because they have been hurt before, or they have experienced something that makes them want to protect themselves, which is why they're not getting outside of this comfort zone yet. Those are made forever. You know, you know, they're aware of their comfort, you know, of their stability. They're aware of their uh, abilities to love. You know, they're aware of their independence. They're aware of their strengths, but they're also trying to embrace their weaknesses. They're trying to embrace their their emotional areas, but they're coming at it in a very defensive and a very um, defensive and perhaps even offensive um, way because that is a place that they are still looking to heal. Same as you, in a way. But the King of Swords has to address the truth and understand the truth, the reason why that they are the way they are, so they can release it because that's going to keep them from growth as well. But right now, the focus is on you, Scorpio. It's never the other person. It's always on you. And what needs to change for you is the same thing that needs to change for them. But you can't make them do it. You have to. And I don't see you guys trying to force anybody to do anything that you, they don't want to do. I'm not saying that for that. But, you know, I don't want people saying, like, well, why don't they just do it? It's, well, it's because you have to do it, too. You know, you're no exception. Everybody is a projection in our lives. Everything projects what we need to, what we need to see to be the best version of ourselves. And you're coming about your energy, which is not a problem, but that does just that just means it, it's time to cleanse. It's time to cleanse. Family, let's pull this Whispers of Love card. Let you guys get out of here. And enjoy your couple. Enjoy your boo. For those of you that have a boo. This could be anybody. Like I said, it could be friends. It could be a family. It could be, it could be anybody. Your neighbor. But anyway, you guys have... Ooh. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experience love. And that would be the Six of Cups. Seeing the past as something happy and something that's, some, that's good to remember instead of using it as a reason to act or to be or to think a certain way that keeps you from having true, you know, to, it keeps you from being happy. From, from It keeps you from experiencing love. Six of Cups' only purpose is to remind you of the good times, to remind you of the of the t uh, times when you were happy, when there was potential for happiness, when there was happiness, when you felt that, and in a time of innocence, right? So reflect on how much you've grown. Those are good things to remember. It's never meant to actually, the Six of Cups, anyway, it's never meant to remind you of pain. The Seven, the Three of Swords is. But the seven, Six of Cups to me doesn't remind you of pain. It reminds you of the good times. And those good memories can still be reasons why you have a certain guard up. Or a reason why you, you know, you don't have, you know, you just hold on to stuff. And I feel like this is saying, like, turn on your heart light by, like, letting this newness come, letting this, you know, your heart in. Like, letting those emotions flow. Being the King of Cups. Being yourself, right? 100%. Allowing your heart to just sing. And it's okay. Let their heart sing the gospel or sing whatever it is. Sing some opera. Oh, let that let that song out because your heart does. You know, is happy. You're happy. I could feel it. I could feel the. This is my person kind of energy. This is my person, and you're allowed to feel that way. But you have to let the old go that's keeping you from letting yourself feel that way. 